Hello everybody, time again to tie. Today I got uh, about 8 hours, I'm gonna start with the captain, then I'm gonna do a green highlander and the pop um, uh, off uh, camera though, but let's start with this one, the captain, and um, let's begin. Time to start tying this captain, so um, extra small oval silver tinsel in the back, wax thread of course, not pre-waxed. Just tying the tinsel in. Good news. In a week or two, I'm gonna get my glasses. So I actually see what I'm doing. I hardly see anything. <laughs> so it's interesting to tie uh, at least. Doing three turns with the well silver tinsel. Just tying it in afterwards. Secured, so I just cut it off. Then we have the silk, should be blue, somewhere there. I just aim just a, a bit before the barb or the hook point sorry tiny the silk in The silk is a bit twisted, so I just untwist it. So, tight wraps backwards. Meanwhile, untwisting it. There we are. Turn that forward again. There. So we're just tying the silk in. This one is a mess. So I'm gonna throw this one away afterwards. It's just a long piece that I have had on the table for a while. 
So I'm just tying it in. Somewhere there. And then I'm gonna cut it. And throw the strand away because it's a uh, bad condition. Just flattening the silk a bit. again. Time for the tail. So what I'm gonna do here is build up a bit of foundation. So there's not such a big gap between the hook and the silk. and a prepared one. Looks good to me. So just tighten in a little bit. I want to see how it sits. It sits all right. So when I'm working close up like this, I can't really see much. So that's why I need my glasses. And that's also a reason why I haven't tied so much lately. I'm waiting for them to arrive, the new glasses, or my first pair of glasses ever. There we are. So, just verifying on the pattern so I don't uh, miss any step. So, time for this one. So I'm just gonna back the thread a bit. I'm going to add the pattern description in the 
the description of this video so you easily can try it yourself if you want to so let's try everything in there we go so no ostrich hurl on this pattern so we go directly into the floss sorry silk but before that we're gonna tie in the tinsel and for this one it's oval tinsel silver Preparing a tying point of the tinsel. I'm going to show you what I mean. I just remove a bit of the silver strands. accordingly there we go so what I'm gonna do here is to build up a little bit but what I think I'm doing I just uh, I'm gonna use more turns of the silk in the back, even it out, and it's gonna be orange. And today I'm using the lovely wooden spools of Vera Soy. Not sure if you've seen it before. It's fantastic. It's it's good silk, and I love it's on wooden spools. Gives it a bit antique feeling. Just tying it in somewhere there. wraps backwards and I just need to tilt it so I can see I want it to be leveled out Silk 
And the pattern states for reddish claret hackle. But I'm gonna do a uh, claret. Silk a little bit, flatten it. There we go. So now it's the time for the body hacking. Bit of wax. Hackle is in place. Going back again then. Let me start with orange. Orange seal fur. Check on a brush out, of course. Then we have, let me see, dark blue, no, it's claret, so going with medium claret, it's pretty dark, but the dark claret is almost black, so that's why. I chose this one. So adding that single fur. Last 
again. And then we have the dark blue one. I think I need to color a proper dark blue much. I think this one will look good anyhow. It will match with the Kutinga substitute and also the color of the front tackle that I chose. I always do a little bit more the last color in the front so to say since the hackle itself the front hackle and everything is gonna cover it a bit and then I just need to brush it out Somewhere like that. So let's start with the tinsel. Or let's start by removing a fiber here. Now it looks better. So tinsel time. Securing the tinsel before cutting it off, and uh, I left quite a decent amount of room in the front since it's a uh, two hackle there. It's a blue one, and also then uh, uh, Galena. Now, of course, tight wraps behind and the silver tinsel. The same here, I'm trying not to compress the silver too much. Securing it. Cut 
in the left over. Bit long hackle on this claret one, but uh, I don't have any good tapered one. So I need to buy a few more necks. Not the sheep ones. But sometimes you can do some really nice finds on the Chinese ones actually. So, front one of the front tackles. Waxing the thread. Folding everything backwards. I'm gonna do a few grabs. Not too many, but still, you, you want the glow to show. with the wax and the last hackle few turns you just gonna see how it covers everything I think I'm gonna do
bit heavy on the hackle but uh, yeah I like it so meanwhile I just build up a foundation again with the thread uh, to bridge between the hook and uh, the hackle for the the underwing it looks okay not bad for a blind one I can't wait for my new glasses sorry about uh, me speaking about that uh, all the time but uh, it's gonna be a huge different difference then uh, hopefully I can see what I'm doing <laughs> so I just pulling the hackle a bit splitting it on top leaving room for the wing to be there I think I'm gonna use the peak of wing as a middle wing. Yeah, that I will do. <laughs> so it's mix hackle and sea fur. Gives uh, quite a lot of volume to the to the body. This one I will, I might fish it. Why not? Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is to prepare uh, the wing and everything for, for the ne next part of this video. Uh, no point you guys looking at me building everything in slow-mo so I restart when those steps are done so we can add everything time to start the, the middle wing and then the wing on top of that so this wing is peacock wing it properly and tie it in I want it to sit quite low there we are Okay. Looks okay. Then we have the wing on top of that. Let's prepare the wing. It's gonna look like that. <coughs> it's gonna back the thread. Just gonna cut these fibers off.
is cleaning everything up. So, basically it's time to set the real wing. Just gonna remove the heckles. Pairing the wing so it looks equal on each side. So length, make this okay. Good at how to look. You want it on top of uh, the middle wing, not on the side of it. <laughs> So let's tie it in. Just gonna secure it with a few tight wraps with the thread. There you are. So you just need to work the wing a bit. So I'm just going to sort that one out. I want the wing to be really low. Looks good from there.
making them. Still not happy with this mallard. My god. So let me change approach. I'm having a bad mallard day, apparently. So. I had to finish off the fly off uh, video due to my struggle not seeing what I'm doing. Um, a bit of challenge, I would say. Um, however, it's ready. It's not my best fly, far from it. Uh, do, do, tying, uh, during a, uh, making a video. Um, however, that's it. Um, I'm gonna wait until I get my glasses tying the next fly. It should be a week or something uh, one and a half maybe so um, yeah enjoy if you can um, but uh, yeah uh, see you in the next video with my glasses bye take care <laughs>